Buckle up and hold on tight because Griffith High Year 7s are going to take you on an unbelievable adventure to the Jindabyne Sport and Recreational Centre. The adventure began on a cold Monday morning, 6am to be exact. Year 7 arrived at Griffith High School all excited and as you can see, still half asleep. We travelled to Jindabyne on the buses. We passed through Canberra and we saw Telstra Tower. Well, at least from a distance. When we reached Jindabyne, we were all excited and of course exhausted. But it wasn't going to stop us from having a blast. We met the staff at the Jindabyne Sport and Recreational Centre. We all thought they were totally awesome. They explained the program and we checked into our rooms. By this stage, we were eager to participate in our first adventure, which was rock climbing. I guess I am the type of kid who can become bored of things easily, but the rock climbing wall had got my full attention. Rock climbing gave us confidence and tested our survival skills. Everybody enjoyed this activity. In the evening, we all settled down after a day's activities. It was a session of storytelling. The topic, ghost stories. We all had our fair share in narrating the fanciful and frightening stories. The ghost stories had everyone on the edge of their seats. Tuesday was totally awesome. If you're afraid of heights, you may want to skip this bit. The day began with the Challenger's ropes course. This was a kind of like tightrope walking with a safety harness, of course. We all enthusiastically participated in this exercise. Just when we thought our day could not get possibly any better, it did. The Navy landed eight helicopters on the oval of the Sport and Recreational Centre. The guys from the Navy took us and showed us the helicopters and answered our questions. Once we were finished with the helicopters, we went for a walk up a hill and participated in a cookout where students needed to prepare and light a campfire. We made a hot plate out of a rock and cooked sausages, steak and damper. The more we worked as a team, the quicker we were able to finish cooking and start eating. Just as well because by that stage we were starving. The staff at the Jindabyne Sport and Recreation Centre read us the poem The Man from Snow River and cracked a whip for us. It was awesome. Tuesday night we participated in an activity called the Jindy Market. Students set up stores which included face painting, tattooing, hair straightening, nail painting, ice cream making, Milo and cookies, putt putt and more. There was something for everyone. Wednesday we went to Threadboat and climbed Mount Kosciuszko. The adventure started with a chairlift ride that was totally amazing and followed by a 6.5 kilometer walk. The view from the top of the mountain was spectacular. Wednesday night after our Mount Kosciuszko walk we were exhausted. However, we still managed to dance the night away at the disco. Thursday morning we went mountain bike riding. We also went to archery and students got to compete against each other. We all had a great time. Then we had lunch, said our goodbyes and left for Griffith. At the end of our amazing adventure, we just had one question. When do we do it again? This is our Year 7 Jindabyne story. We hope you enjoyed it.